Jason Rosidlo reporting from Campus Marshes Park in downtown Detroit. The Motown Winter Blast returns again next year from February 11th through 13th with all the same great activities. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here's a toast and a roast to the 2011 Motown Winter Blast coming back to Detroit. February 11th through 13th, and thanks to the people standing around this marshmallow roaster, the festival will happen again in 2011. So uh, we're happy to announce that today. Hey, John, what do you yeah, here, Cheers. So let's uh, roast one and enjoy. John, talk about what it is and what you need. So, I'm sorry? Talk about what's going to happen this year, or next year rather, and what you still need. Well, uh, we're going to bring back the same uh, signature activities that we've had in the past. There'll be free ice skating. It's the one weekend of the year, courtesy of Charter One Bank, you can skate for free at the <laughs> fabulous Campus Marshes Park uh, rink. Uh, we're bringing back snowshoeing, there'll be 50 bands on three stages, there'll be many of these marshmallow roasters around the downtown, there's an outdoor carnival, uh, there's heated tents to stay warm, and there's spectacular ice sculptures from Quick and Love. So that's what we have. What we can use is a few more sponsors to help us bring the snow slide back. We can get that slide back for a very uh, small additional sponsorship. We've cut the costs on it, and we, we're glad the festival's happening. If there's something new we could do, we'd like to bring back the slide and that Super Bowl glory uh, you know, that we had uh, around downtown. What's the timing you need on that sponsorship? We would need it by early January, by the first, second week of January. We have some interested folks in that, and uh, you know, but fortunately, thanks to a lot of the efforts here, you know, we were able to get a lot of support around the district. Uh, Quicken Loans, Health Plan of Michigan, Galaxy Solutions, Marketing Associates, uh, the United Way, others have helped us out, and, and uh, you know, we're glad that we're going to be able to move forward. So. Very exciting. The luck out there is uh, free ice skating. The only weekend that you have yeah, free ice skating. Yeah, that, that, that is right. Love and that. don't forget the Million Pond Challenge. Bring a can bread, clothing, books, and we're hoping to raise a million pounds of food, clothing, and books to distribute all across the Tri County area. A million pounds this year. And last year, thanks to Dr. Wilson's help and Matrix Human Services, we gathered 600,000 pounds of items. And, uh, like the million pound challenge. <laughs> Give me some highlights of next year's Winter Blast. Well, you know, uh, Winter Blast is one of the best things about Detroit. Uh, we talk about our, our Thanksgiving Day Parade, we talk about the fireworks, we talk about all the signature things that happen in the city. Winter Blast is one of them. It's a tradition that's new uh, no, compared to all the others, but it's something that I think is one of the most fun because you can do so much. I mean, you can ice skate for free, you can eat a lot of great food, you can snowshoe, do winter activities. You can celebrate the winter because a lot of people really don't like the cold and so they leave during winter time. But Detroiters, we go outside. We ice skate, we throw snowballs, we build snowmen, we build the snow igloos. You know, we're outside for hours until you can't take it. Um, but Winter Blast is one of those opportunities for us to celebrate uh, the winter. So, you know, I think this year, you know, what we will see is more families experiencing this because, you know, there are a lot of families who, who you know, are going through tough times with, you know, foreclosure issues or issues of unemployment. And I think that this is a chance to really come and have some fun, some free fun with your family, along with everybody else who will be coming down here. How is it different for you as a city council president? Because a few years ago, you used to come here as an attendee. Yeah. Well, you know, for me, I, uh, I am now an official ambassador. I was an unofficial ambassador before. Uh, because I was still a member of the media, so I had to, you know, scrutinize the time. But now I'm an official ambassador for the city, and I love that position. Uh, and so I'll be here shaking hands and, and, you know, with the families on the ice skating rink, trying not to look too foolish, but still have a really good time. Anything else to add here today? I want people to come down here. Uh, it's, it's free. It's fun. It's festive. It's Detroit. Matrix Human Services, 106-year-old charity serving Detroit. And what we do is fight generational poverty, not just with a handout, but with a hand up. Our philosophy is education, education, education. How will it benefit from the Winter Blast in February? Well, we are thrilled to be the designated charity for the second year in a row. We're asking everybody to come down, enjoy the wonderful activities, family, adults, children. And when you come, Bring either a donation of cash, a check, books,
clothing, canned goods, and our objective is to raise a million pounds and distribute it across the Tri-County area within 30 days of receipt. Well, this is the second year that you were involved in the festival, so how did you, how did you do last year? Last year we raised 600,000 pounds and several thousand dollars for charity. This year we're looking to a million pounds to help the poor all across the area. Any other comments here today? Uh, thank you to the Tri-County area, thank you to the Rotary for making the Million Pound Challenge a reality, and thank you to all the sponsors, Mr. Ficano, Charles Pugh, City of Detroit. It's such a huge collaboration and partnership. We're thrilled to be a part of it. What, what does the Winter Blast mean for the City of Detroit? Well, actually, uh, it, it, it has about 75,000 people that come down on average, so that means not only the retailers and, and the restaurants, but Greektown and other uh, places uh, close to this location uh, get the benefit of the people coming in. Plus, they get to embrace uh, the winter culture that uh, you know is in this area in southeastern Michigan. Uh, it's the only time you got free ice skating at Campus Martius, and there's a number of activities for the kids. It becomes family-oriented. Now, how do you think the festival will be different from last year? I think uh, people are starting to have an expectation of uh, coming down. Uh, I know they're trying to get the uh, giant slide here again. Uh, Disney is uh, bringing some new uh, activities here as well. And so I think those are going to be announced in January. But we're just trying to get people to lock in those dates in February. And again, it's become an expectation. Traditionally started from the Super Bowl, but one now that I think the, the area really embraces. So how is your office involved in it? Because I know you're with Wayne County and this is part of Detroit. So We help with some of the sponsorship. We help uh, get some of the sponsors and Wayne County Parks Division works with them as well. So go ahead, tell me about uh, next year's Motown Winter Blast. Sure. Uh, it's going to be uh, very, very exciting. The same winter-themed activities everyone's been used to. Free ice skating in Campus Marshes Park, courtesy of Charter One Bank. Spectacular ice sculptures from Quicken Loans. Uh, Great entertainment for the family from Meyer. Uh, there'll be skating exhibitions, snowshoeing, dog sledding, music on three stages, a place to warm up. You can always find heat every 150 feet, and uh, it's just going to be a lot of fun for the family. Now, how would you say it's going to be different from last year's Winter Blast? Well, not too much. I mean, we're adding uh, some entertainment from AM 910 Radio Disney. We got a lot of family activities, including their detour promotion is coming. Um, we're working on getting our snow slide back, which would be a big coup, you know, for us. So we're still fundraising for that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of pleased that we're able to put on the same show with the outdoor carnival and all the festivities. It'd be great to add some new things. Uh, it'd be great to add some new things. But, uh, you know, if, if we can deliver the same type of entertainment we've had the last couple of years, I'll be thrilled. So this started when we had the Super Bowl here. Now, how long has it been going on? Well, this is year six. We started in, in 2005, so 11 will be year six. And, and uh, you know, it, it was great in 2006 when we hosted it for Super Bowl, but I think it's special for the city to keep it going each year. It brings thousands of people to the downtown, supports local businesses, quality of life for families, and uh, uh, it's a great way to bring people together. So many events in the summer, but this is the one winter uh, event people can count on each year. Okay, now in terms of the music, you're going to have all types of genres, not just one type. Always, uh, and we'll be announcing our lineup, Detroit's best uh, local bands, rock, blues, uh, soul, funk, alternative, country. It'll all be here uh, at the Winter Blast. And techno, we work closely with the movement folks. They bring DJs out as well. Talk about the admission. How do What do people got to do to get in? Well, to get in, uh, we, we've added a program last year where you bring a can of food, a book, or an article of clothing to come in. And last year we raised 600,000 pounds of uh, goods, and uh, we hope to hit a million pounds this year. Any other comments about the Winter Blast you'd like to tell us today? Just that we'll be coming back in January. Everything's at winterblast.com, and uh, you know we'll, we're excited to come back, and we'll be back in January with more news.